What up you lab rats? This is episode number 117 and today we're going to talk about three ways to be more present. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the lab, your daily inspiration for creating better content. So on today's episode, on Tuesday Tips, we're going to talk about three ways to be more present. Why be more present? Well, we're kind of keeping in line with this, uh, this week's theme, which is like getting your mental game right. And uh, being present is one of those things that is really, really, really difficult for human beings because we have this ability to kind of go back in the past and, and worry about the past and, and uh, worry about the future and kind of live in the past. And so I find myself doing this all the time where, you know, I, I mean, it was, it was such a, it was such a commonality for me in the very, very beginning of creating content and, and just trying to figure stuff out. And I was so, so kind of burned on a lot of past mistakes, past, um, relationships past all this stuff and I kept talking about it and I kept telling myself and telling other people like well at least you know at least I'm 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 not this way and I was sort of just living in the past and and bringing up old wounds and bringing up old things and and really kind of shunning and hiding away from the growth that I needed to happen right now like right now and I would keep going back to this old me like at least I'm, I'm doing okay because at least I'm not, you know, uh, complaining about this all the time, or at least I'm not in a relationship that is, um, you know, emotionally abusive. Uh, at least I'm not blah, 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 all of this at least stuff. Right. And it was, I was like, man, that must be annoying. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> it was like, I think something, something indicated to me either it was a person or it was me but I was like uh, I need to stop bringing up the freaking past and so I want to talk to you guys about being more present okay because a lot of times we kind of project what we have to do later and we worry about that and we worry about what we did before and it makes us afraid to move and and to execute on certain things that we need to do like right now and uh, we, we sort of stay stuck in this sort of bouncing back from the past and the future. And you don't really do much to, say, build a business or make your relationship better or make yourself better because you're worried and bouncing between these two things when you're not really honing in on the present moment. So let's talk about three ways to be more present. One of those ways, okay, I had to write it down, sorry, <laughs> is to purge the past okay so we've all we all have a past we all have baggage yeah and my baggage uh is is out there people if you want to know more about it it's there uh, because for like I felt like it felt like a year of just talking about my past and talking about all the mistakes I made and you know what it was kind of good to do that because for however many years, I wasn't saying anything. I didn't talk to anybody about it. So I had to, I kind of had to purge this thing of like, oh, woe is me. I'm a victim, all this, you know, kind of nonsense. And you know what? Even though during that time, I must have been annoying as hell to be around, <laughs> but I was going through this transition of purging the past. And so if you haven't done that, if you haven't had the ability or the chance to kind of purge it. And for me, it was creating content. Like, I think I wrote like three little books about it, about my story and like where I came from and like all of this, all this shit that happened to me. Um, just, just the fact that I was able to purge it is like therapy, right? It's so important to just do some self therapy. And I think the word therapy scares people. It's like, Oh my God, you're crazy. Um, <laughs> let me tell you something. Okay. We're all a little bit crazy. So just, just embrace it. Just roll with it. Uh, embrace your own crazy and move past your own crazy by doing a little purging. One of those ways can be writing, you know, journaling about it, blogging about it. Um, you know, James Altucher said, you know, I don't hit publish unless it bleeds. So he, he's always kind of looking for this, this thing in him where it's like, oh my God, if I tell people this, people will judge me. I have so many, I've made so many mistakes, 
bam, publish. And so that's kind of like his prerequisite. And it always, always is, is a piece or a blog or some kind of written article that really resonates with people because it's like, wow, you just, you just purged all of that crap. And, and now it's like, it's out of him. It doesn't, it's not bottled up inside of him. It's like kind of like anger, right? If you keep anger in you for like the longest time, it starts to do stuff to you. <laughs> you start to become like um, the stepmother on Cinderella, right? She was just filled with so much hate and she didn't be, she wasn't able to purge all of that crap. So purge your past, <clears throat> Whether that be like creating content creatively, you know, uh, photographs or whatever, find a way to have an outlet for all of the mistakes and the regrets that you have. I mean, we all have them, right? Find a way to purge that. Okay, number two, Um, listen more, listen more. I think when we're just having a conversation with somebody, often, so often having conversation with Kevin or Kevin having conversation with me and I'm like, he's totally not listening right now. He's totally like thinking about the mortgage or he's totally thinking about the next shoot he has to go to. And uh, it it's, it's up to us to kind of keep each other on track because I'll be doing that too. I'll be like, yes, Manny pack yet well I'm not listening I'm I'm thinking about my workshop okay <laughs> so listen more just being able to actually build this skill of listening and being there and being really present and listening to whoever you're talking to or whatever you're uh consuming at the moment say it's like a you ever watch a movie, right? And like, you will like check your phone during this movie that's going on. Like that's, that's, that was unheard of like five years ago, right? You were, you were, uh, hopefully you were into the movie. And now I find myself checking my phone on a movie. Like when it's a montage, what do you call it? Montage, montage, right? Montage where they show a bunch of, so I'll be like, checking my phone during movie I was like holy crap and I catch myself I'm like holy crap I am ADD <laughs> ADD dizzle right now okay so um listen more you know just be more present with whatever you're trying to consume at that moment I think that's really important even this podcast I'm sure you're doing something right now <laughs> which is cool okay I understand uh but try to listen more right try to listen more just to be more present all right number three move the body with intent by that I mean, because I, I was going to put down rock climbing because, oh man, rock climbing, you've got to focus. You've got to be present. You can't be worried about, okay, I, I missed that thing or I was like, I just totally messed that little move up or technique. I didn't get that technique right. Or you'll be kind of projecting and worrying about the next thing that you have to grab. And maybe you'll miss some some little jibs, whatever, you know, those little grabbing thingies. I don't even know what the words are called still. Uh it'll be worrying about all these things. But if you don't focus in on what the, the task is right there, um, you mess up, you get tired, you waste energy, all this stuff. It's same way with exercising, right? If you're not totally honed into your form when you deadlift, right, you're going to snap some shit up. So like be, move your body with intent, right? So be intent on the fact like, hey, I'm exercising right now or I'm getting stronger. I'm working on my form and you really do. You have to hone in. You have to focus on what you're doing or else. Yeah, you, you go to, you know, snap your body up or you injure something or miss something or waste energy or or not make that summit or whatever. Um, but that's an incredible way to kind of practice the skill of being more present. I feel like I mean, you guys are going to hear it a lot now that rock climbing in the gym uh, cause we, we just went to a new gym and it was insane how much more focus I needed to, to bring within myself to, to figure out these problems. They're called problems. And the walls were a lot higher and a lot more scarier and a lot longer. So I needed to focus even longer instead of just like for 30 feet. Now it needed to be like for 60 feet. Right. So moving your body with intent, whether it's rock climbing, exercising, rowing, running, you know, just focus on that. Focus on the fact that your body's moving and that is a great way to practice to be more present, okay? So those are three things to stay more present. Being present actually, well, we're gonna get to that in the later episodes, does so much for you instead of being caught in the future or in the past, okay? So good things, guys. That was today's episode. We're hitting it about 10 minutes, cool. Um, 
If you like this episode and you got something out of it, please hit that like and leave me a comment if you want to join the conversation. I love being in the comments in the conversation. And uh, head on over to getinthelab.me slash join if you want to get on my newsletter list. That's where I share a bunch of stuff that I don't share anywhere else. Speaking of which, a little just housekeeping, okay? I'm going to be speaking at Podcast Movement 2015 at Fort Worth in Texas. It's like four days long. (laughs) It's going to be crazy. And I can't wait to vlog it and show it to you guys uh, when that time comes. And I'll be speaking about uh, video podcasting and and stuff. And uh, I'm just really excited. So uh, you can find if you are going, I would love to meet up if you're going, you could find all the links for podcast movement and find out what that's about if you're interested in that uh in the description below okay so good things guys once again my name is megan reminding you to get in the lab see ya peace hey what's up uh thanks for sticking all the way to the end i really appreciate it i'm lucky to have you so i have this workshop going on it's one-on-one with me and kevin we're talking about video branding we've got about two seats left one of those seats is a scholarship seat so one of you lucky lab rats will be attending the video branding lab for free and uh, how you can apply to this scholarship is go to getinthelab.me slash scholarship, okay? And there, I'm just going to ask you one question. Why do you want to go? <laughs> and if you make a video, I, my head will be turned, okay? So not that, not that t- I'm discouraging you from, you know, writing or anything. I still give a lot of love to writing, but video is awesome. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay. So good things guys. Uh, again, once again, you can find that at getting the lab.me slash scholarship. Okay. Good things. We'll see you next time. Peace.